Welcome, I'm Shelly Chabra, and you're in my design studio in Arlington. And here is one of the only places in Boston where you can get Indian bridal fashion. I have an electrical engineering background. I was working for sort of a large company, and I never felt um, really connected to my community or that I was having a direct impact on people around me. And um, this was a great way for me to kind of unleash my creativeness, so I just took the leap leap of faith and quit my career of seven years. A boutique where you can come in, look at samples, um, try them on, and then figure out what silhouettes work for you. And once we come up with the right design, I record it, I send it off to my design team in Delhi. So this dress just comes alive in the light. It's completely adorned with sequins, beading, um, stones, and embroidery, and it's all hand done. It's one of a kind. This is very, typical of an Indian wedding outfit for a groom. It's called an achkan, and it's brocade, silk brocade, ivory brocade, with embroidery and mirrors. You can learn so much by just looking at the fashion, like the, the thread itself, it's called zari, Z-A-R-I, and that dates back thousands of years. It's like a metallic thread wound around and then used in designs. And I really cater to um, not just Indian brides and grooms, but anybody who celebrates diversity. We're, so we're in Green Street Studios in Central Square. Kathak is actually um, a very old, ancient um, art form from North India. It's the only classical Indian dance form in the world that combines both Hindu and Muslim aesthetics. <laughs> For people who like yoga and like meditation, you'll get the spiritual, mental relaxation part of it, but then at the same time, it's this rigorous workout for your body. Welcome to Punjabi Daba. It's one of my favorite spots to get a quick samosa or a lassi on a hot summer day. We're in Inman Square in Cambridge, Mass. Come on in. Can I order a samosa to go? Or actually for here. Thanks. We have um, a hot, crispy samosa filled with spicy potatoes, peas, onions, um, some red, it's a red chutney, which is made out of onions and spices, and then tamarind chutney, which is sweet. So we have the spicy and sweet combination, and then topped off with a mango lassi. My Boston, you know, with Indian dance, Indian food, and Indian clothing, Indian fashion.